Hello, it's Victor Dadaos. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here with my chiropractor, Dr. Joseph Itzir. How That's you doing me. today? That's me, Vic. Now, he's been a chiropractor for 30 years. He's been very successful. So, share some secrets with people as to how you can be successful, not just in your business, but in any business. Well, you know, first of all, the thing you mentioned about being in practice for 30 years, longevity is the sign that you have to be doing something right. But before you can do something right, let me tell you something, you can do a whole lot of things wrong. And that's mm -hmm. the unfortunate part about it. But if you learn from your mistakes and you put yourself in a position to grow mm -hmm. and to adapt to the signs of the times mm -hmm. and things change and you have a good chance of being successful. Um, one of the things I have to say is this, is that nothing replaces hard work. Now, hard work doesn't mean just work, Vic. It means hard work, but smart work. Mm -hmm. It means sowing seeds, it means networking. It always means doing the right thing. That's also critical. Do the right thing and make sure that, you know what, whenever you make a, you're making a deal with somebody or you're having a negotiation with somebody, is make sure not only it's a win-win situation that not only that you win, but the person wins. But one of the things I learned a long time ago is make sure you go out of your way for the person you're going to do that you know, uh, partnership with mm -hmm. and make sure they make out good too. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only win, but they make out good. Mm -hmm. That they're able to talk about you and have a reputation that that uh, that will last in a positive note for, for many years to come. And that's one of the things I know, you know, I'm, I'm in the healthcare business. I'm in the business of helping people get well. But you know what, in, in, in what I do, I need to sell people on health because they're so brainwashed by the medical profession you know, taking drugs and taking pills and looking to um, not heal their body, but just cover up their symptoms. I need to shift the paradigm. So I need to get somebody who's thinking that the pain they have is their problem mm -hmm. to that there is something that's causing their problem. Something that the medical world mm -hmm. doesn't really present to people. Just take a pill and cover it up. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective to be, uh, be successful is that I need to make sure that my patients understand the truth about how their body works. And I need to be energetic and passionate about it. I love what I do. Right. And I've been doing this for 33 years. And I get the greatest satisfaction mm -hmm. when I adjust somebody for the very first time. When I have that person on the table and I give them their first adjustment or when I'm showing them their x-rays. Mm -hmm. You gotta be passionate. You gotta love what you do. You don't love what you do, Vic. You might as well just, you know, go sit on the bench somewhere. No, I totally agree. I've gotten involved in ventures which, you know, I did it just to solely make some money. When I didn't make any money, I loved it because I wasn't passionate about it. You right. gotta love what you do. I totally agree. And what you said about loving your patients, Tony Robbins said, you gotta fall in love with your customers. I think a lot of people, when they go in business, they make the mistake of mm. falling in love with just solely making the money. But you gotta focus on what your patients, your clients want. If you right. focus on what they want, making them happy, in the long run, your business is going to grow. Well, and I think that's what you, you would know, kind of And even like, you know, to, to throw a quote out from Zig Ziglar, he said, if you get, mm -hmm. if you get, um, if you help people get what they need, mm -hmm. then the universe, and we're speaking about God, will somehow supply, put the right people in your mm -hmm. path. Because mm -hmm. you're just doing the right thing. You're out there and, and, and you're sowing the right seed in a fertile soil. Mm -hmm. And again, like what you said about doing it for strictly the sake of doing business and making money. I see a lot of people in my profession, they do it strictly for business and to make money. And they're miserable. Mm -hmm. They are unhappy. They don't even want to go to work. I love Mondays. I can't wait to get in here on Monday and do what I do. When there's a, a Monday holiday, I cringe. I can't stand these Monday holidays because <laughs> my week is thrown off. You know? Oh, that's awesome. You see, this guy loves what he what he does. And, you know, I've been going to this guy for several years. And uh, I can yeah. tell he really loves his patients. He really cares about them. And I get people like you better. <laughs> This no, guy, let me tell you, so when he came, he was he was falling apart. But you know what? By the grace of God, and straightening out his neck over here, he started doing some some uh, good things, getting healthy, man. No, absolutely, because I had some definitely had some issues with my back. I'm feeling much better, and I can definitely tell you, he cares a lot about his patients. So he learns a lot of good things. He actually have a book. You want to take show your book? My book. Here comes yeah. my book. Here comes yeah. my book. We're doing a promo right here. Yeah. So he has a book called The Genesis Diet. Now, a lot of times when you hear the word Genesis, you think of the Bible. So it's not just a book on how to get healthy, but he applies biblical principles to it. And as an entrepreneur, I can tell you, there's a lot of great uh, rules for success. So you can apply those rules to being an entrepreneur. So why don't you talk about you know, what one, you book more? One of the funny things, when I, when I did write the book, um, I was approached by, by the publisher mm -hmm. based on a video they saw of me speaking at a church. Mm -hmm. And they said, Dr. Petir, this is great stuff. You need to put this in a, in a book. Mm -hmm. I said, I forget, I'm not doing this. They called me six months later because the woman, the, uh, the, the, 
the editor for, the, for this publishing uh, company said, no, I watched your video again. I thought it was fabulous. You got to write it. So uh, I put some principles together based on what I was, was speaking. And the premise of the book is all about positioning. Mm -hmm. it, you know, you can take this book and read the first three chapters and be successful in an ice cream parlor, or you can be successful in a diet book, you know, mm -hmm. dichotomy, but the principles of, of, uh, of what is taught, that I was taught, you know, by my experience and, you know, reading my Bible and just learning from people that are successful, mm -hmm. the principles carry over. You can read the first three chapters of this book and be a better student in school. You can read the first three chapters of this book, and you can be a, be a, be a, a better police officer. It doesn't matter, because it's based on, on, on principles that are timeless and always mm -hmm. work. The reason why I apply it to a diet, and, and it's not really a diet, it's a, it's a menu to get well. Because it's not just about food, it's about, about fitness, about attitude, it's about success, it's about sewing, it's about being just you know, a genuine human being. And what I refer to my own book, you know, one of my favorite chapters in here, but part of a chapter is called abusing mercy. You know, every every day we have an opportunity mm -hmm. to do the right thing and 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 to you know be that type of person that would be admired and and, and, and kind and whatever it is. And and sometimes we just take advantage of not only other people but even ourselves. We just don't do the right thing. We abuse God's mercy. And what happens is we may not feel the repercussions of it immediately, but if we continue to not do that, what we're supposed to be doing. Like when it comes to the body, if we're not eating right, okay, sooner or later we're gonna get sick. We may not, we may have a, a cheeseburger today and get away with it, but if we have a cheeseburger every single day, washed down by a milkshake, eventually it's gonna catch up to it. The mercy that keeps you alive, that makes you like do these unhealthy things, will run out, okay. and we can't abuse that mercy. Yeah, sounds like the compound effect. It just builds up over time. You're not gonna well, feel the first first day or two, but you keep doing it over the course of years, your body's gonna feel. Like you said, if, right. if people had a heart attack after a cheeseburger, they stop eating. Right. But it doesn't happen. It builds up over the course of many many years, and that's what and that's the problem. It's this, you can use those principles for anything. It's like people don't see results. They go to the gym twice, you know, a couple of times. They don't have a body like Arnold Schwarzenegger. They give up. And, you don't yeah. get those muscles unless you go steadily for the yes. over the course of years. So everything has to be done consistently. If you do anything, is the consistency is the key. Consistency is omnipotent. I'm telling Absolutely, you. Absolutely, yeah. So it it works both for the good and for the bad. You do good things over the long course of of your life. Good things are going to happen in terms of your body. You take care of your health. You eat well. You exercise. You're going to be healthy. You do if you conversely, if you don't eat properly, if you don't exercise. It's going to take a toll on your body. You won't, as Dr. Venturi said, you won't see it immediately, but over the course of years, It'll your body's your yep. body's going to feel it, and you're going to have health issues. And, so. and one last thing for your audience, I just want to I just want to um, commend you and your communication to them because I'm not sure where this video is going or what the purpose is or how it's going to be designed. But if you need somebody to be a health coach or to somebody to you know to partner up with with ideas and and uh, understand the, the the real spirit of an entrepreneur, you got to connect with Vic. I, now, he didn't bring this up, but I call him at least once a month, and I say, hey, Vic, I got this idea. You got to come over here, and he'll come, and we sit down, and we go through these ideas, and um, I, he's a great, you're a great resource. Thank you're you. my man, Vic. When you walked in the office today, okay, and I introduced you to the guy, I said, this is my guy right here. This is my, my guy, Vic. This mm -hmm. is the guy, and, and we, have a, we have one person audience, okay, um, uh, the, uh, the the producer for all my stuff, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, I was I, I, I introduced you guys because you know what my guy Philip here is great in what he does, and I want to make sure that you two guys connect. Absolutely, and that's that's another great thing. Successful people don't just hoard it in; they want to share with everyone else. They try to connect everyone with everyone else because um, there's plenty of success to go around. So that's the other thing. Be happy with other people's success, though, because. You're going to attract more success to you. Don't be jealous of other people. Be happy oh, for them. Yeah. See another successful person as, as an inspiration. That's what I'm saying. All right, it's great talking to you. Happy Sunday, wonderful day. Wishing you all a great day. Take care. God bless. Okay, ciao.